the letdown after the holidays, people staying indoors more because of the cold weather and the need to be socially distanced can tr be a triple threat can be a triple threat for bringing on the winter blues. So we turn to our friend and nutrition and fitness expert Jody Treeweiler for solutions. And she says that there are five foods that can help boost your mood. Jody, the winter blues are for real for many people, yeah. especially those Hi, who- Hi, Happy New Year. Happy New Year. Happy New yeah. Year. And we want to keep the new year happy, right? And there are you know, people- So stumble. this has actually got a name. It's called Season affective disorder and it's really a result of the very very cold weather and the lack of sunlight which can result in lower serotonin and melatonin in your brain and just make you feel overall depressed and sad I have had this problem in years past so I think 10 million Americans especially Michiganders suffer from this so I do have some food suggestions that can help improve the situation Okay, so let's get into it. Yeah, the first, now this is folic acid because it, low folic acid is associated with depression and lentils are pretty much the number one source of folic acid. And you should know that if you take antacids, that can deplete your body's natural folic acid. So you might need even more of it. So keep that in mind. Okay. okay the next thing is fiber. Fiber just helps your body digest food better. My favorite fiber source is raspberries because one cup has eight grams of fiber and we need about 25 to 35 grams in a day. So raspberries taste delicious. They're easy going down. That's a really good fiber choice. Okay. Another nutrient that has been associated with depression is low levels of iron. And people don't realize, but there is a really awesome food out there. Can you see what this is? What is that? It's a clamshell, but it's oh. a big one that my kids out of the ocean. But <laughs> your body needs vitamin C in order to absorb iron. Clams naturally contain both, so that when you eat it, your body's going to absorb the maximum amount of iron. Isn't that cool? Nature is brilliant. What else do you got? It really is. You're right. Yeah. Another thing that really helps is omega-3s. We've all heard of omega-3s, but there is some inflammation that takes place in your brain when you're experiencing depression and anxiety. Our number one food is, this is actually Michigan caught salmon that my boys caught and it's frozen, but salmon is gonna offer the highest. If you don't eat fish, you don't like fish, flax seeds are another really, really high source of omega-3. And then the very last thing is probiotics. Probiotics help create a healthy gut atmosphere, and that has been associated with lower levels of anxiety and depression. Fermented foods is a very cool way to get your probiotics. This is a fermented kraut that you can get. It's at the grocery store now. You want to make sure if you're getting fermented foods that they're refrigerated, not in a jar or a can. That's really, a, Tati, this seems like something you would eat to me. I, I feel like. I have like two kinds of sauerkraut and kimchi in the fridge because you, <laughs> you know how I feel about probiotics. Well, Jody, we're just out of time. Where can people yeah. get more of your great ideas? You can find me on Jody's Fit Life, Jody with a Y. I'm all over social. Thank you so much. Happy Thank New you. Year. Happy New Year. Good to see you.